And then there's this. Seattle's Liberal Mayor, Jenny Durkin, will not run for re-election. Could her successor lean even more to the left? Jason Rance is a Seattle guy, talk show radio in Seattle. How do you see this playing out? Could you actually end up in Seattle with a more left-wing mayor than the one you got? As hard as that is to believe, yes, in fact, that's most likely. Jenny Durkin was not a shoe in for re-election, but obviously you do get an incumbent bump. You've got someone who is generally well-liked by the silent majority in Seattle. She is considered by Seattle standards more moderate, but she's as moderate as you're going to get. She barely won back in 2016, and since then, the political climate has shifted pretty significantly. The activist class was very upset with the election of Donald Trump. That got them to create a better sense of urgency. And then after the George Floyd death, they decided to take advantage, exploit that for even more power. And what we're seeing right now in Seattle is the activist class, the people who have been peacefully protesting with riots uh, and chop the uh, Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone and whatnot, they're the ones who this council is now listening to. The Jeez. politicians are listening to them exclusively, and that's why, essentially, Mayor Jenny Durkin has decided to be a one-and-done mayor. She doesn't have the support of the council, and the activist class has basically run her out of town. So whoever wants to take on that position is going to have to placate the activists. Well, is Seattle now, or becoming, a socialist city? I mean, one could argue it's already leaning in that direction and maybe already there, at least to an extent. I mean, we have a council that has one open socialist. She doesn't hide it in Shama Sawant. And we have another two that are kind of closeted socialists. They certainly take positions where they're constantly going after the capitalist system, always going after businesses. It's created a business environment in which... Businesses are fleeing. I mean, yeah, the, the my, irony in all question, of this. Jason. Yeah, is the money leaving town? The money is 100% leaving town. I mean, think about this. So just to put it in context, we're in the middle of a pandemic economy. You've got almost 150 businesses in downtown Seattle alone that have permanently closed. The council decided to pass a payroll tax. They went after some of the bigger businesses, and it was really to go after Amazon. Well, Amazon decided this time, yeah, we're done. So they found a loophole in the payroll tax law, which allows them to allow people to work from home over 50% of the time, which means they don't actually have to pay into the payroll tax. At the same time, they're saying no to renewing different leases in Seattle, and they're moving tens of thousands of jobs across the Puget Sound, really mostly into Bellevue and Redmond, which is about 10, 15 minute drive from Seattle. And that's where the tax dollars are going. Jason, I would invite you over to New York City, but it's not much better here. Thanks for joining us, Jason Rance, and keep in touch. Thanks, I want to know who succeeds, Ms. Durkin. Thanks, Jason. I Christmas decorations, yeah, they're selling real well.